There is no question that the RS is a feral beast, and on this ultra sticky rubber, it follows every last pavement crack, bump, and tar strip while the firm suspension keeps body roll in check. In the sterile lab of a well groomed racetrack, this translates to a connection between car and driver that we dream of. However, once you transition to Michigan's far from perfect public roads, Housebreaking the RS proves to be the frustrating stuff of a ride and handling engineer's worst dreams. This RS vibrates like a paint shaker on two lane roads, it borders on unlivable when respecting posted speed limits. Crank up the velocity to criminal levels, and the RS actually settles down a bit. The ride evens out and the steering stops favoring the road's topographical features and starts to better hew to the driver's desires. But it's a lot to ask of a driver, say, his or her license, when a good car is at its best only when doubling the speed limit. The dampers are adjustable, but the stiffer of the two settings is seriously over damped for public roads. This track weapon never feels settled, and neither do its wide knuckled passengers. Going with the base tire won't fix the brutal ride on rough roads, but it will quell some of the tram lining. That sounds disappointing, we know. It's a tough verdict for a car that otherwise has earned road scholar worthy marks in other situations. It wouldn't be hard to imagine a much more pleasant experience on the smoother tarmac of Southern California, for instance. Tires can make or break any car, but other vehicles wearing Cup 2s, even other Fords such as the Mustang Shelby GT350R, don't have this duality, so we can't put the blame entirely on the Michelins. If you plan to track your RS, the Cups 2s and Y spoke wheels are a no brainer. But if you plan to drive an RS every day, save the money. You won't